John Stossel, he's got a show tonight, as is always the case on Thursday night, and it is about the Fed, as in Federal Reserve. He went out on the street, he asked people if they even knew what the Fed is. Listen to this. What's the Fed? I don't know. What's the what? The Fed. I don't know. At least a few people pay attention. It's the central bank. Then, um, What's it do? Determines monetary policy and... What's monetary policy? How much uh, money to be allowed into circulation. Now, all these responses, John, they're edited. That last gentleman really he knew what he was talking about. He was one who knew <laughs> what it even was. Okay, your show is all about the Fed tonight, isn't it? That's yes, what it is about. that's right. Now, I know a lot of libertarians, maybe the, the extreme part of the Libertarian Party, they don't want any Fed whatsoever. They don't want a Federal Reserve. They think it's a conspiracy. What say you? I say I'm not so sure, but are you comfortable with giving a dozen old white people the power to make four trillion dollars? Why did you have to bring for, race into this? What's that got to do with if, it? If it were anything but the Fed, which the left doesn't understand, they would be screaming that it's controlled by old white people. So I thought it was a provocative term. But it that, certainly was. That, so much power to spend so much of our money in, in a few hands, and they do it in secret. I mean, Congress spends too much, $3.6 At least we vote on it and talk about it. So if you're in favor of a central bank, and I take it that you are, you, you want a, you want so a sure. central, you know? Uh, competitive free banking in Canada, they didn't have all those banks fail during the Depression. Each bank issued its own currency, and they competed. That might work better. I, central planning doesn't work anywhere else in life. Man, you're right out there in the extremes. Though. Well, I do you look, really I'm just throwing out the no, idea. I, I know you are, but look, do you really want to go to the day when we have a bank in New York issuing its own dollar bills, and a bank in San Francisco issuing its own dollar bills, and in Des Moines dollar bills from there, and they all lose value the further away you go from New York or Des Moines or San Francisco? You want well, to do you that? You don't know that they would lose value. They, they did the last time we tried it in the 1840s, 1850s. Banks put out their